spill. Beautiful nature, taking it all in, in all its glory. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm choosing to share this not to gain sympathy or even worse, pity. I'm choosing to share because I didn't know how to tell this story in any other way. Omitting these events felt hollow and inauthentic. Two weeks prior to departing for this trip, we got the life-changing news that I tested positive for a hereditary cancer gene. Carrying this gene means that I have a high likelihood of developing breast cancer and ovarian cancer. After speaking with my doctor, I have made the difficult decision to have a double mastectomy followed by surgery to remove my ovaries. These surgeries will drastically reduce my risk of cancer. Although I'm very sad that my results are positive, it is not lost on me just how lucky I am to have the opportunity to prevent cancer before it develops. This was not an opportunity for many people, both of my own parents included. After an emotional two weeks, coming out to do my favorite activity with my favorite person was exactly what I needed. I wanted to take this opportunity to remind myself and others how important it is to do what you love with the people who love you, even when it might feel easier to sit at home and feel sorry for yourself. Luckily the wind was in our favor.
Was it just wind through trees, maybe? Just current. Oh, we're ripping. Yeah. Like before I was even even able to paddle, we were going quick. I know. And it's not far until the next portage. It's fun. <laughs> of Otter Slide Creek in the rain. As the last daylight faded, we pulled up to our site on the south shore of Big Trout Lake. I woke up and realized something wonderful had happened. I had slept through the night for the first time since receiving my genetic screening results. I felt much more at peace. Then another wonderful thing happened.
action shots at camp. <laughs> Drying everything out. We spent the remainder of the afternoon reading, relaxing, and stretching in the sun. Pat had a good laugh at my expense when I accidentally rolled an animal poop while stretching. While washing my jacket off, we spotted a baby snapping turtle in the water. We enjoyed the beautiful sunset as we ate pasta for dinner. Getting ready for bed. Just putting the water filters in my clothing bag. Steph has a brand new sleeping bag. I hate it. Beautiful sun. Yeah. Oh, 
push it. Then we have to go up. Okay. Go alongside it. Oh, to get in? Yeah. Oh, that's stinky. Oh, that is stinky. No, why don't you just climb in? Are you sure? Yeah. I'm gonna drip water, stink water all over uh, everything. I don't know. Okay, wait, no, maybe not. <laughs> We're not gonna go over it. I think we can get in alongside. That smells. Oh, there's another little dam. Got a power. Oh, there's another one past it too. Easy. There we got another one coming up. The next one we'll have to get out again. Oh yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> Are we going to have to go sideways on this? What do we do? Yeah. It's not that much current, so we can go off to the side. Yeah. Um, so maybe to the right. And put the left side of the boat there? Yeah. Okay. No, that's probably just going to be mud, but I'm going to sink. I'm going to have to climb, I think. Uh, well, why don't I try and... Can you swing me closer? Yeah. Okay, that's better, yeah. Here, I'm good. I'm going to make that fun, like, bigger. Crotch shot on the video here. Snack time. <laughs> oh yeah. Get me warm. Big hill. Good job.
Yeah. Hey, bear. Yeah. I'm just going to be slow. Yeah. Is that just more marsh? Uh, maybe. Damn it. We woke up early as we knew the weather was supposed to turn nasty at around noon. We battled a cold, misty headwind across three lakes, bringing us into Joe Lake. The weather forecast for the following day was also questionable, so we wanted to be in close range of the takeout. I don't think it's a massive problem. We might even be able to get out on the shore if you're better with that. Maybe. We're close to the shore. Do you have a log? Yeah. We're going into sticks though. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beaver dam. Okay, can you get it on that rock? Uh, yeah, if it's not too slippery. <laughs> or the log, maybe? Again. If it's not too slippery. Okay. You should be good there. Yeah. You want to push it a bit further forward? I'm still kind of up on the dam. Okay. I'm gonna step in here. Oh, getting a foot cramp. Ow. I'm gonna step in. Oh, ow. Still at the time. I'm dehydrated. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna push you forward. Really glad that log's not slippery. Yeah. Okay. Holy smokes. God! Where is he? Oh, I'm he went under the water? That was insane. We almost hit him. <laughs> okay, go left. Wait, no, do what you're doing. No! Come back! We took our time setting up a cozy camp and processing firewood for the Kelly Kettle. As if on cue, the rain started just as we finished settling in. We spent the afternoon sipping soup and hot chocolate while enjoying each other's company. Although the weather was miserable, I couldn't think of another way I'd rather spend my 35th birthday. Yeah. 
hard. I won't pretend that going on this camping trip magically solved all of my problems. What I do know is that it gave me space to gain mental clarity, it improved my sleep, and it reduced my anxiety. I never thought I'd be sharing such a personal story so publicly. As our trip drew to a close, I could feel the imminent surgeries looming over me. I found myself feeling sad, as I knew this may be one of the last times that I'd be able to camp in a while. I'm sure many of you are wondering why I'd go to such extreme measures or why I would even get the genetic testing done in the first place. When I was eight and my mom was 36, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Over the course of four years, I watched her fight and lose her battle. For most of my life, I've been terrified of sharing her fate. When I decided to have the genetic cancer screening done, I made a promise that I would do everything in my power to avoid putting my family, friends, and myself through a battle with cancer. I've been given a gift to avoid repeating history. I know the recovery from these surgeries will be difficult, and they will keep me away from the activities I love so much. But I won't have to live my life wondering when my cancer diagnosis will come. If you or someone you love has a family history of cancer, talk about genetic screening. It could save a life.